Um, I didn't really know what today was about. I've, I've written a little bit about Caroline, if I may, if I could just read that and then we'll talk because um, like Hannah said, there's so many things when they're in the public eye that are, are written and people, you know, they but they don't know the actual person and their life. And, and um, so just to say, it's really good to be with so many people who feel as I do. But I, I wish that none of us needed to be here. Um, I lost my daughter to suicide in February 2020, just after Valentine's Day, which was always the worst time of the year for Carrie. She did have a wonderful life with lots of wonderful highs, but she also always seemed to be waiting for the lows that were just around the corner. In 2019, my son Paul's partner was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Caroline was there immediately. She supported his whole family for a year and insisted Paul would go. She's now well and Carrie would have been so happy. She loved her nieces and nephews and they adored her. They called her Auntie Safe as she always worried about what they were up to. Carrie became very involved with mermaids who supported her niece. And she also closely supported Choose Love, helping refugees. So I know she'd be really pleased I was here today and actually doing some good. <laughs> I'm in the process of moving house and came across so many notes that she'd left me over the years because she used to come and stay but always be in bed when I went to work and then she'd just leave a note when she left for home and I'll just read just one that sort of sums her up really and she just got mum well by the time you read this I will hopefully be sunning myself in Rio because she'd got this lovely job <laughs> but not being eaten by a tiger or shot by a stray bullet. So she always found a downside. <laughs> she thought something was gonna happen. But it's got, I love you and we'll miss you, Carrie. And sorry, um, although she seemed so confident, inside she was still a little girl who just wanted to be loved and do the right thing. <laughs> I just want to say what a wonderful idea the Good Grief Trust is, and it's so needed. I hope I'll be able to get more involved, and thank you for inviting me today. <laughs>